Yo, what's up guys? HK Tech right here. Back at it again with another ROM. And this time, your Galaxy Note 3 is going to be converted into a Galaxy S8. S8. Let's check it out. So yeah, this is the Galaxy Note 3. SM9005 International Snapdragon variant Got LT, everything bam And this is it Now, this is the Galaxy S8 ROM Now this is a weird one here This is not fully S8 It had the S8 icons on the lock screen And uh, some nice cool animations But this is S8 slash Note 7 It's very improved, very smart uh, What the hell Smooth, sorry about that Okay, so let's unlock it. Starting off from the lock screen, actually. You see, we got the new lock screen type, like, you know, running on the S8, Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. We got the shortcuts for the camera and phone. Dial. As you can see, the icons are just like the Galaxy S8, which is pretty dope. And the lock screen, I like this area so much. And as far as SIM card goes, SIM card doesn't freaking work. Um, I tried plugging in one. It it plugs in it doesn't restart that issue that often occurs but it has an issue it's like not it catches the network then says no service catches it no service catches no service so no use of it okay so then we got the lock screen let me just load out the brightness uh, not the lock screen sorry the home screen uh just i want to get everything focused yeah there you go got the home screen now this is where stuff goes weird you see in the new S8 you have that when you swipe up your app drops come but this is still basically it is the it is based on the Grace UI like the Galaxy Note 7 C9 Pro Grand Plan Plus. But as you can see this, the icons are just from the Galaxy S8. So like if you go to the phone dialer, it's the uh, same as Grace UI. Stuff is same as Grace UI, but still the browser is kinda like new one. Um yeah. And um Everything works as you see Wi Fi is working perfectly. The speed is good enough actually, and uh, it is based on Android 6.0.1 as you can know from. But it got that Nougat animation, you know, that swipe when like uh, in the Nougat Android 7.0. 7 it's still based on Marshmallow though, and it is uh, not buggy, it is except for that SIM card issue. You know, if you have a daily driver, don't install it. If you have this phone like a media device just laying around, then make sure to install it. This is a great, great ROM, except for the SIM. If the SIM was going on, perfect. It is really, really smooth. I really like the performance of it, it's uh, very nice and uh, easy to install of those simple instructions the version 5 is out but having some trouble installing that that one has a proper lock screen a proper so it has the proper lock screen the proper swipe up thingy the app door a uh, nice stuff and if as far as themes go it works and it is smooth as you can see like some other roms they have like really uh, like stuttering issues look at this this is smooth and when i launch it it is smooth and nice so yeah, it's called the Fugit ROM. The fake it's a project by fake ROM called Fugit ROM. Basically Nougat, but they made it Fugit because of the fake ROM. So, you know, everything is just nice and smooth, works really nice smooth ROM, except for the SIM card issue. You cannot daily drive it if you if this is your daily drive, so don't install this ROM. If it is not, then you can. So yeah. This is the Fugit ROM by fake rom so yeah this and this is educated from educated and i'll be seeing you in the next episode peace out